Welcome, Anthony Hudson with you. With me today is Gary Lyon. Cheers, Hello. Today should be a great match. Well, today it's Melbourne versus Collingwood. converge for the toss of the coin. Collingwood kicking to the right of screen. The season has reached the halfway point and we have a much better indication of where the sides will finish come the close of the season. This is a dangerous part of the season because you don't want to lose touch with the top eight or the top four. If you drop your guard at this time of the year, it can come back to hurt you later in the year. Both sides look ready to get into the action just moments away now. And here we go. It's Melbourne taking on the Magpies. The umpire calls for it. What can you tell us, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. A great match. The ball bubbling around. Hit the man hard. Just gets a boot to it. Trelaw moves it by hand. Gives it to Appleby. Slams it onto the boot. Collected by May. Guides it down. Finding the loose ball was Thomas. Just handballs into space. Grundy onto the ball. A full body tackle. A great defensive effort. Dishes it off. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent. And it's a free. It's a foot race to get this one. The ball mopped up. Dugowie moves it now. Barker going for number one. Pretty happy with that one. The first goal going to the Magpies. We resume hostilities. Punched away. Gathered by Gorn. Goes for the goals. Nice work around. 25 metres out. Going for goal number one. No issues with that drop here. Smiles all round. That's the first goal for Melbourne. Back with another centre bounce. Gorn won the duel. Adam picks up the loose ball. Oliver gets in the way. Varko coming off for a spell. Ball up call. Gorn slaps it away. Ball stripped in the tackle. He's got the footy in his hands. He has the ball. Receives the handball and takes off. He's in his possession. He delivers with a drop pass. He loved that one. Melbourne with a narrow lead. Umpire ready to resume play. Gorn won the hit out. Clean from the half volley. Tomlinson shuts him down. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Gives a don't argue. McDonald clears the ball from the contest. Ball spills. Hoskin Elliott clears the congestion. Marks now and can send it back. Got boot to ball. Showed good control. The loose ball scooped up. 
The umpire will ball it up. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Hacking it out of there. Lost concentration for a moment. Just goes bang. Thomas gets the loose ball. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Main puts it on the boot. It's a foot race to get this one. Gets a quick kick away. Gorn hands it to open space. Adams can't hold on to the tackle. Sharon Berg wins it back. Phillips got the hands free. Just gets it onto the boot. Ruffair takes it well. Hoskin Elliott couldn't keep his hands on it. Missed the target, clears the congestion. That's a monster kick, and it's a goal. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the ball. Sharon Berg loves that goal. Center bounce. Slapped away. With the ball now. Got hands to it. Picked off the deck. He gives it a ride. Unable to put that one through. May considering the options on the kicky. He drives it. Unbelievable. Put that down for mark of the year. Hoskin Elliott will have to put everything into this one. Going for goal number one. He's able to ride it home from a long way. They get around him after that effort. Collingwood have kicked back-to-back -back goals. Now they lead by seven. Taps it down. This is Oliver. Just put it on the boot. Langdon got hands to it. Hannon just gets it onto the boot. Neil Bullen going for number one. Manus to get a hand to that one. Chris deciding where to go with the kicky. A strong pack mark. Moves it by foot. The mark is taken by Adams. Elects to kick. And the ball trickles over the boundary. Umpire calls for a throw-in. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Brown just dismissed the tackler. Finds this and marks well. Appleby drives the kick. A race for the loose ball. A kick to even up the scores. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. Brayshaw celebrates with the fans. The scores are all tied up. One down. Has it now. Drives the kick hard. Doing well to intercept that kick. Powell puts it on the boot. Tomlinson dug out the loose ball. Gets into a good position to take that. He was celebrating that goal the moment it left his boot. He's enjoying every second of it out there. Bernal getting his first with that kick. Celebrating hard. Back in the middle now. Gorn dumps it clear. Taken by Trelaw. Gets a handball away. Brayshaw wants to keep it moving by hand. Found a way through with a driving kick. Sharon Burr couldn't snaffle it. And will get a ball up. Gorn palmed it down. Langdon soccers the kick. McDonald puts his body on the line. Brilliant chase. The first quarter is coming to a close. Good mark and looks to send it back. Kick by Lever. May takes the mark. A short by hand. Takes possession. No problems with that kick for Rochelle. Gets some reward for his... What did you make of the first term, Gas? Melbourne deserved this lead early. They'd want to keep it up if they're going to win this. Both sides might want to work on their defence after a high-scoring opening term. Gary, does anything stand out in the stats? 
Collingwood, actually on top in the contested possessions. They just need to convert that dominance into scoreboard pressure. Thanks, Gaz. Ready to go for the second turn. Back in the middle now. Clears the contest. He's got the football now. Fights the good fight. Neil Ballin fends off the tackle. Langdon wins the ball in the air. He spears the ball. Over the top of the pack. Melbourne haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Mops up the loose ball. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Thumped by Grundy. Grundy was taken high in the tackle. Decides to kick. Dugowie, the better man there. Goes with the kick. Simply outplayed his opponents. Thomas with a drilling ball. Barco gains possession. Tomlinson flicks it over at full stride, receives the handball. Ends up marking uncontested. Melbourne are allowing the opposition uncontested marks, but they sit up behind the ball so well it forces the opposition to play that style. Hoskin Elliott wins the foot race. Melchon unable to lay the tackle. Brayshaw got him high there. Uses it now. They chase after the loose ball. Langdon collects the loose ball. Good mark and looks to send it back. Slams it on the boot. Colin Jasny grabs that one. Melbourne have the lead, but they're allowed plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Releases by hand. He heads for home. And time to celebrate. Puts his second on the ball. McDonald couldn't be happier with that goal. Melbourne have four on the trot. Now they lead by 18. We're back in motion. Gorn thumps it clear. Clears the ball from the contest. It's cut off by Hibbard. Couldn't snaffle it. Melcher gets the loose ball. A chance to gather the ball. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Thump clear. Collects the loose ball. Maynard dug out the loose ball. Gets the loose ball. Dug it out. A big contested grab. Just gets a hand in. Main gets on the end of that handball. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. He's gone missing lately. Has a man running for him. Connor Jasny uses it by foot. Takes a few deep breaths before this important kick. Goes by foot. Jones has it. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. That one will really lift them. Of course, man. This one gives them a bigger lead. Jones love kicking that one. 24 points the difference. Back in the middle to resume play. Thrashes it. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Sweeping handball from Salem. A clean pickup. He gets his hands on the footy. He gives chase to the footy. Dug out the loose ball. Going for goal number one. Nails the goal. Maynard enjoying that goal. Collingwood behind by 18. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. He gains possession. He just can't get out of the action. And now we'll have a ball up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? This is a great game, Hutto. And we can just sit back and enjoy it. Hibbert slams it onto the boot. It looks like the ball will be coming back. Sear goes with the kick, taking a nice grab. Lobs the handball. Appleby quickly onto the boot. A race for the loose ball. Hits him hard. It's a turnover. Drop punt. Finds its way home from Pendlebury. He puts through his first goal. Celebrating hard. Collingwood have kicked the last two goals. Collingwood now only trailed by 12. 
couldn't take it. Rushes with the kick. Gets a touch to the ball. Collingwood can work the ball with this free kick. Barco goes for it now. That looked great. What a goal. He's got a couple now. Starting to get into this game. His teammates rush over. The game is back underway. Grundy thumped it clear. He gets his hands on the footy. Dismisses the tackler. Looks up with the kick. Drops the mark. The loose ball picked up. Oliver releases it under pressure. McDonald is this the moment. Melbourne by seven points. Melbourne have been poor with their ball use. They've turned it over on too many occasions and it's allowing the opposition chances to score. Hunt going for number one. Unbelievable. And they put it through. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. The margin is 13. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That's a really good team goal. Back in the middle as the Rucks go at it. Swats it with the ball is side bottom. Picked up by Kendalbury with the ball now. He wins possession. Showed his opponent the ball and took off. Getting pushed out of the way was Grundy. Marked by Jones. Puts it on the boot. Marks it a bit of space. Only seconds remaining in this quarter. Releases the handball. May just put it on the boot. Goes off the ground. Gathers it now. Well, it'll be a ball half-time, and it's Melbourne 50 to Collingwood 37. Melbourne have had a good first half. I think they'd really love to stamp their authority on this contest in the second. Time to see if there's anything interesting in the stats. Collingwood are allowing the opposition too much room on the outside. They need to close them down faster once they break away. Much appreciated, Gaz. Second half action about to commence. About to resume hostilities. Punches are clear. Jones needs a chance to rest. Ball up called. Gorn with a big fist on it. Ball up in the centre square. Hammers it. The ball in the hands of side bottom. Doing well with the mark. 50 metres from home. Goes for goal. So close, but just misses. Collingwood close the gap to 12. Considering the options on the kick in, Gorn is blowing hard after that effort. Moves the ball by foot. Can't take possession. The ball knocked out in the tackle. He's got the football now. They can link up now. Tomlinson gathers it now. Finding the ball with ease. Moved on by McDonald. Kicks hurriedly. A chance to reload the attack now. The kick from Chris. Beam scoops it up. A good job keeping it in play there. Goes wide. points the difference. Chris deciding where to go with the kick here. Looking to rebound with this kick. Does well to cut off the kick. He's a long way from home, but he might have the wheels. Oliver with an opportunity for goal. 45 degree angle. That's the sort of goal that can get the team up and about. Gets his first. This league getting bigger now. He loved that one. We're back in the middle now. Punched away. Neil Pullen with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Using every ounce of energy he has left.
The ball mopped up, just gets it under the boot. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. It'll be a free kick for that high tackle. McDonald went out in the square. Plays on now. Oliver moves it by hand, and now they're away. Can't take the mark. Finds the loose ball. Hannon just gets the kick away. Melbourne doing well at the moment. Chris looking to bring it back into play. Show some physicality. Brace York, the number one ranked player on the ground. He's the most dominant player on the ground at the moment. Intercepted. Beams couldn't complete the tackle. Looks to move it by foot. Maynard gets in a good position. Intervening brilliantly was Manel. He can take off after that handball, hacking it out of there. Wins the race to the ball. Grundy will be the recipient of the free. Goes by foot. Winning the ball in the air was Petrarca. With a driving kick. A chance to gather the ball. Just sends it into space. Picks up the loose ball. Pretty lucky to get that free. He goes for broke. He makes that kick count. Full cross. Brown celebrating hard. Melbourne have kicked the last three goals. Now they lead by 26. Winning it was Grundy. Scoops up the ball. Cleanly picked up. Side bottom. Gets streaming past and gets the footy. Just got a hand to that one. Looking for options now. May plays it to himself. Uses it now. Brayshill takes it strongly. Melbourne have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Sharonberg drops the mark. Couldn't get the hand pass away, so he just threw it. McDonald pumps the ball long. Intercepts the ball well. Powell drives the kick. Takes that one strongly. Grundy moves it now. Ball gets cut off. Brayshaw might have overworked himself there with quick hands, applying the physical pressure. Just put it on the boot. Steady hands there as he holds that one. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. May going for number one. It's off line. Collingwood reduced the margin. Melbourne could have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. <laughs> Collingwood now only trailed by 23. Ready to bring it back into play. May decides to go to himself. Snaffled up by May. It'll be a ball up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Gathered by May. Now with a low spearing kick. They can create from this. Sharonberg hacking it out of there. Easily takes the mark. Spills the mark. Smith pushes through with power. He has the ball. Brayshaw kicks it. Wins the race to the ball. Melcher earns a free kick. A chance here to convert for Melbourne. Langdon presents and takes the mark. As we go into the final change, the scores are Melbourne 64, Collingwood 41. A big final term coming up. Melbourne walk into three-quarter time with the lead and the confidence they can win this game. Any thoughts from you, Gaz? Melbourne are doing a good job at getting the ball forward. They lead the inside 50s, and they're creating plenty of problems for the opposition. Umpire ready to begin the final turn. About to resume play. 
Big thump from Grundy. Side bottom. Hacks it out of there. Majek missed an opportunity to mark. Dug out by Oscar Elliott. Quick hands. And they could be away here. Neil Bullen kicks hurriedly. Hannon could be upset with that. Just threw the ball. They can take the sting right out of the game. Petrarca elects to kick. Nice mark under pressure. Kick by Gorn. Side bottom gets a quick kick away. Just gave it away. Goes short by hand. Sharonberg rushes with the kick. Hoskin Elliott picks it up. Trelaw continues to find the ball. He just keeps finding the footy. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Melbourne forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Coughed up by Gorn. Gets the handball away. Sends it clear of the contest. The margin is 24. Chris looking for options now. Plays onto himself. Sinks the slipper into it. He wins the ball in the air. Chose to kick it. He gives chase to the footy. Oliver having an impact again. He has been outstanding here, Hutto. Langdon coming onto the ground. Now we will get a ball up. What can you tell us, Gaz? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. He looks like he needs a spell. May, can he put it through? Takes the chance and says, thank you very much with that goal. Pretty happy with that one. We resume hostilities. Thumps it clear. Side bottom, there to mop up. Pendlebury slowing down now. Might be in need of a rest. Just dismisses his opponent. Grundy, handballs. Didn't get away from the tackle. Great tackling there, Hutto. On his way. He's put it through. Congratulated by his teammates. Collingwood closed the gap to 12. He did really well there and gets the reward. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Collingwood are costing themselves with turnover today. They need to find a way to control the play better and stop turning it over. Stands tall and marks. Needs a big kick if he's going to put this through. Thomas pulls the trigger. The mark has been taken. You can almost mark this one down for Cox. Going for goal number one. Look at them celebrate that effort. The Magpies have three in a row. Still anyone's game from here. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Melbourne were in front in the clearances and it's allowing them to create pressure up the field and scoring opportunities. Needs a bit of a rest. Got boot to ball. May wins the ball in the air. Slams it on the boot. Trelaw not getting much of it, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hunter. Pendlebury won himself a free. Adams has resources out wide. Barker uses the body well. Goes inside, forward 50. Smith failing to get near it, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. Thomas was taken high in the tackle. He slams it towards goal. What a goal! 
He celebrates hard after that. Collingwood have kicked the last four goals. We are all tied up now. And the umpire says, my ball. It's a very tight game right now. Ruffin got a fist to it. Charges with intent. Ball gets cut off. Getting in the way with Smith. Now we've got a ball up. Thump clear. Gets around Mr. Invisible. Nice. Hurry kick. Strong with the body and wins the mark. The kick from Melsham. I haven't seen him for a while, Gas. He's barely touched the ball. Up. Chris, hurry kick. Great mark. Thomas elects to kick. We'll get a stoppage. Hammers it. Scoops it up. Bernal might have overworked himself there. Is in his possession. Quickly onto the boot. Gains some territory. Hoskin Elliott collects it. Pumps it inside 50. Marking in space for Hawks. 30 metres out. Should be relatively straightforward from here. Going for goal number two. Drop punt straight through the middle. He's enjoying that goal. The lead is now six. The game is back underway. Punched away. Takes possession. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Swats it. Off the deck. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Doesn't hold on to the mark. Salem breaks the tackle. Salem will be the recipient of the free. Goes with the kick. He looks like he needs a spell. Ball off hands. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's... What a game! Gary, what really stood out for you today? Teams are made in games like this. I know it can be a moment that takes teams to the next level. They put it all on the line, and they deserve to win. And the final result is the Magpies 71 and Melbourne 65. Thanks to Gary Lyon for joining us. We'll see you all later. It's been a pleasure, Hutto, and we'll catch you next time.